Welcome to TacosandGeeks.com Virtual Game Look Back. Justin here, and today I will be looking at the death and return of Superman. You guys, this is the week I've been waiting for since the announcement. This is the week of Batman v Superman, and it's going to be awesome. But let's get ready and talk about this game, which came out for the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo in 1995. This game is based off the comic book of the death and return of Superman. Here's a brief overall description of the game. Brace yourself for a hard-hitting fight to the finish that lets you relive the classic DC comic book series. As Superman, you fight your way against the mighty Doomsday, the vile distributor of death and destruction. Then control the destiny of the four Supermen, each claiming to be the one true Superman. Explore through 10 levels of superpower battles and fly at furious speeds until only one real Superman is left. Now let's start up stage one. Now, I dare say this, could this actually be the best Superman game out there? Mainly because, I mean, it's a beat em up, but it wasn't a really bad sucky one. It was just your typical generic beat em up. And you compare this compared to games like Superman Returns and Superman 64 and even the Superman the arcade game this one actually has some type of story and it actually has some cool elements in it and I, what, what I really did like about this game is that number one you get to play the Man of Steel two you have this type of story which is actually based off the comic book so you get to actually relive certain scenes and certain fights that actually happen in the comic books and you know the comic books was a hit and miss with people but you know the game for, for the most part I thought it captured it well and I actually think this might till this day be the best Superman mainly because of not only okay let, let's let's break down a couple things one it is this typical beat em up type of gameplay that we've seen for ages. And you know what? It doesn't really do it bad. I mean, I, I rarely play a beat em up game that's really, really terrible. And two, your Superman, the graphics is pretty good for the 16 bit era. Um, it actually is a little bit challenging, as you can see me clearly getting my ass kicked. Or maybe because I'm not paying attention because I'm doing this and playing it at the same time. But. It had solid enemies. The fight with Doomsday was pretty cool. And he actually has special abilities. He gets to use his um, heat vision. He gets to fly uh, in various levels. And the levels are actually pretty long and lengthy for like a beat em up that you were going for. It's not a bad game, you guys. I really did enjoy this one. I will say it definitely is one of the better Superman games. It has really, really good presentation. Uh, you have, yes, you have the repetitive enemies, but it's still a classic type of beat em up game. This is something I can actually, I will literally sit down and play this throughout the whole duration of its 10 levels because it's engaging and actually you get to have that impact of Superman dying and then you play with the other versions of Superman all claiming to be that one true Superman. So they did capture certain elements. Of, of the comic book actually pretty good which is something that you really didn't really see in the 16-bit era of them actually capturing and adapting a story and making it your own so you know I would definitely say that this was pretty pretty solid and I thought that it was a pretty fun game I I enjoy it. I mean it's a great beat em up and you know it's not something it's not bad it's not terrible it's not bad it's something I can actually sit down and watch and something I can actually sit down and play as well. So basically, guys, um, Death of Superman, not 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 bad. I mean, solid enemies, good gameplay. Uh, a to you know, A to hit your hit um, heat ray vision. B to punch and C's to fly. And one thing I do like, you have to use the, the, the game's mechanics make you, as you can just see right there, the game's mechanics make you lose, make you use every single ounce of Superman's powers. You're not just gonna, you know, you, you're gonna think a little bit. You're gonna say, okay, how I'm gonna defeat this enemy here? How I'm gonna beat this section here? What I'm gonna do? So I mean, it does have some good, should, uh, some good elements to it. And I would not say, I, I, I would dare not say this is the worst. Superman game ever made that 
title will always go to Superman 64. So, I mean, there definitely are better beat em ups. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can think of Streets of Rage, Final Fight, I mean, Golden Axe. There's definitely uh, Turtles. There's definitely better. Even hell, Batman Forever. No, no, excuse me, excuse me. Woo, sorry. Batman Returns for the SNES is a way better, better beat em up than this, but for the most part, I had a good time with this. I will still say that this is the best Superman game right now, which is really sad when you really think about it. When are we going to get a new Superman game? What do you guys think? When are we going to get a new Superman game? Hopefully, my fingers are crossing with all the Superman hits that they dropped at Rocksteady. I'm hoping that Rocksteady could be that franchise, could be that company that brings us the definitive Superman game that we have all been waiting for, all been crying for, all, I'm serious, how did I get hit there? All have been wanting. Superman Returns captured that a little bit when we were able to fly through Metropolis, but at the same time, we didn't really get to do anything besides save people from buildings and beat up robots. I want a definitive Superman game, and so far, this is the closest thing we've gotten. A 2D, Beat him up based off the comic books, the death and return of Superman. That's sad when you really think about it. Like, why is Superman so difficult to do? I don't get it. But anyway, you guys, death and return of Superman, pretty solid game, fun game. Um, 10 levels of awesomeness. There's also flight levels and things that you have to do. So I, I like it. And the boss battle, what you're about to see, Kind of easy when you're first doing it, especially if you're spamming specials like I'm about to do right now. But it's it's pretty good. You got boss battles. You got some Superman's powers. You got decent graphics. You got decent music. It's a solid game. This is Justin from AtakusandGeeks.com saying, Later days, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.